as you know, changes are the result of vibration, and so we need to take responsibility. And responsibility has gotten a negative connotation, but it's actually a very liberating thing. When you take responsibility for the things you're actually responsible for, then all your assumed responsibilities drop away. So if you actually take responsibility, you actually start to feel free from your responsibilities. So how do you know whether you're taking responsibility? It's that you're feeling, feeling free from responsibilities. Does that make sense? Because when you take vibrational control instead of situational control, when you master your vibration, when you notice how you feel and you bring it back into alignment to the best of your ability, and you have a joyful attitude about doing so, you have an optimistic view on doing so, then it will be very easy for you to stay within a certain parameter of out of alignmentness. So you will stay very close to the center beam of light that penetrates your being top down, which is the resonance track, the resonance beam of your higher self that you're always being close to or further away from. How do you know this? Based on how you feel. So how do you feel? How do you feel right now? Good. So then this experience is in alignment. The way that you're thinking right now, the excitement you might be having for your future based on even the past 10 minutes of me speaking, what that triggers for you might be in alignment if you're feeling good. If it feels really, really bad, then you might consider leaving the room, finding something that excites you more. Or maybe it does really excite you, but maybe you have a negative definition placed on top of it based on previous experience that you drag with you into this universe. Now you see, ultimately, ultimately, this universe, the next universe, the next universe, and I'm talking not about years from now, I'm talking about the next nanosecond universe, this universe, this universe, this universe, this is next, this is next, this is next. Every next moment is completely clean, it's completely clear, it's a completely blank slate. It's a completely new canvas. If you take out of the equation, which we cannot really do, all the trajectories of all the beings that are part of this collective reality. But if you just take away the relationship aspect, the vibrational relationship aspect of the consciousnesses, the beings that seemingly inhabit the template that we call the world, and just see the universe as it is, if we would take ourselves out of the equation, that the very next moment, instead of having just two or three or four options, the very next nanosecond suddenly would contain all options, except for the ones that Mother Earth as a being itself would not agree to experience. But every other potential reality would be right there, right available. We could shift into that right the very next nanosecond if we take out of the equation the vibrational mess that we've generated. Does that make sense? In other words, the world is not to blame. The Earth is not to blame. The time that we're in is not to blame. The technology that we've generated is not to blame. Even the people are not to blame. Spiritual teachers are to blame. <laughs> For you see, it is their responsibility to educate. I'm not actually kidding that much. But there, of course, nobody is to blame. But we need an educational system that works. And I'm also talking about schools, but I'm not just talking about schools. I'm just talking about everyone. Planetary civilization needs to look like education, period. Meaning that it is a planet where beings come together to learn, to co-create, to enjoy, to be taught, to have teachers, whether from this dimension or from the next, depending on how open that civilization is. It can come in all kinds of forms and in all kinds of visitations. But imagine a planet where the standard is to come together to learn. And that's what you'd see. The buildings all around would be like places to come together to learn, to co-create, to be in joy, to expand, to empower oneself, to quote-unquote meditate and contemplate and enjoy life. We need to educate ourselves. We need to educate each other. There needs to be an effect effective, efficient system that teaches step by step every single person how to clean up their vibrational mess. And Transfinity Academy is a beginning idea of this that we've manifested. But of course, we're looking to expand that greatly in different ways. So education is what's missing. Vibrational education. Enlightenment is what's missing. Nothing else is to blame because as soon as this information is made available and as soon as there's a certain threshold, a certain amount of people that start to live this way, it becomes so much easier for everyone else that might not be at the same level of IQ or intelligence able to grok these concepts, but they can go in the flow of the threshold that has been passed by the collective. Does that make sense? So it is up to all of you that have the privilege of sitting here, and it is up to me to take that responsibility if you feel that calling, if you feel that honor, 
to disseminate your empowerment. How do you do that? Not by preaching, not by knocking on people's doors on Sunday morning, although that's fun too. It is by living as fully as you can. Okay, You need to be an example. Your radiance, the way that you're living, needs to be a natural question mark that's above your head for everyone else. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> wherever you go, whenever you give someone a smile, whenever you shake their hand, whenever you say something, whenever you introduce yourself, however you present yourself, in whatever way, people should be turning their heads, even if they don't know why. And not because you look good or you do this or you, cl you dress yourself in a certain way, but because of the way that you're being, because of what you're emitting, because of what you're sending out, you see. And you all know these experiences when you feel really, really genuinely good, genuinely good, grounded in goodness, grounded in happiness, solid, fucking solid. Whoever you meet, new or old, sees a question mark above your head and goes, who the fuck is this dude or who the fuck is this gal? Now, when you do that, it's the subtlest way to teach, but it's the most efficient way to teach. It's the most powerful way to teach because it will spill out into all the work that you're doing, into all the relationships that you're having. So cliche as it sounds, and limited perhaps as it sounds from a linear point of view, but to change the world, you need to take responsibility for your own empowerment. Is that enough? That is absolutely enough, because what do you do when you're happy? What do you do when you're overflowing? What do you do when you're ecstatic? You give. You give. You give, you create, you don't react, you don't take, you don't need, you give, you teach, you educate, you enlighten, you radiate, you rub off on everyone that you meet and people that don't even know you that never met you physically. You rub off on people vibrationally. If they're even slightly within the realm of being able to perceive and it being irrelevant for their soul journey here on earth as a being to take from that vibration, they will whether or not they realize that they are. And whatever you have been growing up with, whatever the challenges that you have as part of your makeup, those are your gifts to the world. Whatever trauma, whatever psychological difficulty you carry with you today, whatever obstacles, whatever struggle you're going through today, that is the gift you took on for the sake of planetary enlightenment. All of you, no exception. There are no selfish people on this planet at this time, whether they realize it or not, each and every one that has been incarnating within the say, past, say, 40, 50 years has, as part of themselves, inevitably, and before that, many as well, but 100% at this point, what? Oh, you just, just made it. You're like, right. <laughs> uh, no, well, every single person here, regardless of age.